I'm in the kitchen today with one of my very favourite chefs, Melissa Palinkas from Young George in East Fremantle. Also, one of our WA Good Food Guide Chef of the Year recipients, welcome. Thank you very much, George. Now, you and I have regularly bonded over our love of all things pork, and you are the master when it comes to small goods like ham and bacon. So what have you got in store for us today? We are doing a bacon jam that's gonna go with a beautiful grilled cauliflower steak. So we're doing a take on cauliflower cheese with bacon. We're gonna start with our bacon jam. Do you want to chuck in all that onion? Beautiful. I prepared that myself this I morning. I love that. All right, and then you're going to put in the bacon. Cool, now you've had this quite hot going I've in. Had, I've, I've preheated this thing. So it's equal quantities of bacon and onions. And then we're just going to saute this down because this is going to have a, a few other ingredients in it and it's just going to go on a simmer and caramelise. We're going to start going in with brown malt vinegar. So we're just going to go in about 250 ml. And what's great about brown malt vinegar? Like, why do you like to use it? It's got a lot of depth of flavour. Yeah. So it's malty, it's earthier, okay. kind of deeper, kind of richer flavour. We're just going to simmer that um, down here. I'm going to add a, a surprise ingredient. A surprise and delight? Yes, yeah, I'm adding coffee to this jam for depth of flavour. So we're just going to let this simmer away for a bit and we're going to crack on with the next section. Right. And we're just going to make a cauliflower steak. Take that core out, just going to do a little bit of a score, just so when I'm grilling it, it cooks evenly. And I'm just going to chuck that on the tray with some olive oil. And salt. Do you want to grind some pepper on there for me? Love to. Here you go. Then we've preheated this grill. I'll season the other side as well, so just oil it up straight down. So now we're going to add our sugar while this cooks. So last step, we're going to put, go in with a bit of hot sauce to add a bit of zing to the jam. That's going to take another, say, 30 minutes to come to the consistency that I want. Well, so while we're waiting for that, I guess we can get on to the, the cauliflower sauce. We absolutely can. For raw garlic, you're just going to put a little half a teaspoon of that in. Teaspoon of mustard powder. Then all that cheese and then a dash of cream. And then we're going to whiz that up. Beautiful. Put our sauce on. We're going to pop it in the oven. And I reckon 10 minutes. Um, Liz, you are a huge advocate for buying local, and I know that you do whenever you can. Let's talk about Australian pork in particular, because I'm hearing this from all chefs. It's, there's no other option but Australian yeah. pork. Absolutely. Why is a chef so adamant about that? Well, it, because it's ethically produced, and it comes from like our local farm, so farm fresh. Why would you buy pork from overseas? There's yeah. no, no need for it. It's right here in our own backyard. Let's check this out. Oh, looking good. Oh, look at that. It's nice and brown. Exactly how we want it. So now, back to our jam. Just going to turn that off. The bacon jam is just going to go over the top. This is a nice little wintry number. And then, just to finish it off, we've got some beautiful aged cheddar. Here we have Australian bacon jam on a cauliflower cheesesteak. 